So Squarespace is used by quite a few existing students and quite a few people on the internet. So let's look at two different ways to integrate a Squarespace form into our MailChimp mailing list. So in Squarespace, I'm just going to look I'm just going to look at a page that I created that allows you to do things like edit the action. This is just, I think it's called a cover page. I don't actually use Squarespace a whole lot, so I don't know the verbiage as well as I know MailChimp's verbiage. So let's click edit action. And here we have the ability to have either a form or a newsletter form. So we can add either a form or a newsletter to this cover page. Let's start by adding a newsletter and then I'll show you how to do a form and why you might want to use that instead. So we'll click edit newsletter sign up and we'll click connect. Click OK. I'm just using a preview version of Squarespace, but I'm going to log in and then connect the two services. So now they are connected. I have to select the list first and I can either check off double opt-in or not and click save. So now if I go back and edit this, I can look at all of these different things. If I want to change the post submit message or if I want to change the label or something, maybe I'll change that to subscribe because that sounds a bit better. So if we preview this, says subscribe, there's a form. So I'll sign up with a test email address and click subscribe. Now it says thank you. Now I can close that. So now let's double check that that worked. Back in MailChimp, we'll go to audience. We'll go to view contacts. I'm going to sort the contacts by last changed sending. So I see here, looks like Squarespace at fake subscriber was signed up and it looks like they were added via Squarespace. That's correct. So that worked really well. But what if I wanted to also pass through a hidden merge field with this form? Well, in Squarespace back here, if I go back to the edit, if I click on form here and click edit form, then I can do something cool. I can pass a hidden merge field from Squarespace to MailChimp just in case I wanted to automate something or further segment somebody based on a signup. Say I have multiple signup pages on Squarespace, maybe passing a hidden merge tag will let me see, okay, this person signed up from this form on Squarespace versus this form, and then I can automate or segment accordingly. So we're editing the newsletter block right now. So we can take out subject, message, can even take out name if we want. And now all that's left is the email address. Now we're gonna click add form and we're gonna go to the bottom and create a hidden field. So we can call this page 10 off cover page because this is the page that they'll be signing up for. So let's click save. Oh, I didn't configure storage. So I'm gonna click over to storage. I'm gonna click MailChimp, click okay. And now I'm just gonna log into MailChimp here. Log in. Now it's connected. I'm going to select the list. Make sure that this is still there, that hidden field that I created, and click Save. So now if we test this form again, now using a hidden merge tag, let's click Sign Up. I'm just going to say Squarespace2 at fakesubscriber.com. So now if we go back into MailChimp, we can double check that. So back on our audience, I'm going to sort ascending last change so I can see the top person first. So here I can see Squarespace 2 and I can see now that there is a merge tag created called page and it has the value of 10 off cover page. So what MailChimp has done, if I go back into audiences, and then settings, and then merge tags, is because I created a hidden field value in Squarespace, it's created that right here called page. So now I can look at merge field data and I can pass merge field data from hidden fields from Squarespace 
to MailChimp using the form block, not the newsletter block. So those are just two ways that you can integrate Squarespace with MailChimp. Thanks for watching.